This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Excuse me. Look, we've all seen them. Maybe it was at a Perkins on a Kids Eat Free Tuesday with Batman. Or perhaps it was at a church youth group fundraising picnic with Mickey Mouse. Or worse yet even, maybe it was in a touristy trap destination like Times Square, packed with all of those Transformers and Elmos. You know what I'm talking about. It's the bootleg costume. And truly, nothing gives me more joy on this beautiful blue earth like a bootleg costume. What's up, costume fans? It's Dan here, and today we are diving into the messiest bootleg costumes of the year. Look, here's the deal. I can't stop scrolling Disney TikTok, and I've recently fell down a rabbit hole of cursed costumes that I have to share with you. It's the only way I can escape the curse, is to pass it on to you. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to come find me in other places like TikTok, there's gonna be a lot of TikTok in this video, guys. And also on our vlog, please stop vlogging, where we are pleading for you, please, to stop, please, stop vlogging. Encanto, the family magic. Oh my gosh, Encanto, what a hot new property, right? Everyone wants an Encanto birthday, which means Mirabelle. And you would think it's Mirabelle, it's a young teenage girl. Just throw a curly wig, give her a pair of bright green glasses, put her in a skirt and off, she's good to go. You're wrong. We do need a mascot of Mirabelle and my God, it's a smorgasbord. It's a buffet of cursedness. Let's just start here. We'll call her Mirabelle one. At $290, this is essentially an adult Tessa Thompson trick-or-treating as Mirabelle. The hair just has no volume. What, what is this? Is this like those black strings you use as like, we used to use in the 90s as like shoelaces? That's what it looks like. You know what I'm talking about? You do. The glasses, the lips, just everything isn't right. Nothing is right. Kenny, just put Mirabelle up on the screen next to this Mirabelle. Who are these two people? Strangers in the night. Let me introduce you to Maribel too, AKA the door explorer of the group. Hola. Where we kind of like explore this new kind of sewn hairstyle. It's like flat tubes of fabric sewn in like spaghetti bunches. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I have to say, I do at least appreciate the proportions of this face. Like, hey, I, I know who this is. Mirabelle 3. Now this is a pricey one at $700. And the listing is confusing because it shows two very different Mirabelles in two very different parts of her life. The first one has just been stung by many bees. That's just what it is. She's just swollen, right? And then the second one is clearly what appears to be an adult Mirabelle wondering why she's still wearing the same outfit well into her forties. This one's a gamble for $700. Which one am I gonna get? And let me say the third picture of just the head looks nothing like the other two pictures. Mirabelle 4, I like. I gotta say, I like Mirabelle 4. Now, we unfortunately made the choice to use like wig hair on the top of this thing. And why put wig material on a costume that will most likely live its life in a carpet bag being worn by teenagers? It's just, that's just a chaos choice. The, the hair on this thing is not gonna live well. In fact, there's this one great TikTok of like a 360 Mirabelle costume and boy, she looks like that time traveling doctor from that movie in the eighties. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious snow. No. I appreciate the dress on Mirabelle Belfour. It is not the dress from the movie. It's not like some movie knockoff. It is their own interpretation and it's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. I love all those little flowers all the way up in it. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. Mirabelle 5 is Abuela Mirabelle. She just has a wrinkly face, wrinkly arms. God, this Mirabelle takes like one children aspirin a day just to keep her blood thin. Okay, moving on to the creepy guy who lives between the walls, you know. Bruno is just a collection of Jesus adjacent mascots, all right? Like they just pulled out the Jesus pattern and just gave it different, maybe even the same hair. I would argue that Bruno looks more like Jesus than what we think Jesus looks like. <laughs> this Bruno though is a choice because it looks like he spent so much time in his stone bedroom that he just became Medusa. Like he just has snake hair, snake hair. I'm so uncomfortable with like, shiny snake hair. 
Bruno too. It, uh, Jesus. It's just Jesus of Nazareth. These are so clearly Jesus's feet. You cannot tell me that this feet pattern sandal thing did not start with a Christ costume. And the background of this one. The ba I love the background of most of these bootleg mascots because they show you like the, the warehouse or the office or the factory that they're made in, in like Peru. Most of these come from Peru. But like this one, clearly a lot of Photoshop went into it because we removed the watermark of the brand that he bought this from and then flipped it on Etsy later to turn a profit. But the background is Stonehenge. What? But also $1,200. Here comes the money. Here we go. Bruno 3, I just found like on like a UK party rental Facebook. They're like, hey, we're thinking about getting a new costume. Look at this Bruno Jesus. And now again, back to the flat sewn hair. I just can't with it. Just get that out of my life. I don't need hair looking like a bath mat. All right, Bruno 4, again, comes from another Facebook page of like a party rental. And this uh, this photo gives me so much anxiety. Well, first it's Mirabelle snake hair. Like those are just like hot snakes. Like what are those things? And then second, it looks like Mirabelle's dating Jesus and the paparazzi caught them somewhere. And Bruno 5, Bruno 5, hey, look, if you're in the market for like a Muppet Jesus Bruno, this could be yours for the low price of $315. Now let's talk about Isabella, the flower girl. This one, we'll call her Isabella one. Isabella, honey, are you okay? Are you feeling okay? Do you need to lay down? You look like you are swelling. Uh, <laughs> this is so clearly just some woman's head that they had already that they just put the wig on and then made the dress for. Like, I don't know. I'm not getting a lot of Isabella action here. Okay, Isabella two. This looks more like Isabella. If she was cursed into spending her life as a Muppet that was stored improperly. Now, Louisa, I'll, I'll be honest. I am not sure this is how I remember Louisa looking in the movie. Like, sure, this is definitely the same dress as Louisa, but why does she look like Lori Laughlin dressed as Louisa? Pretty sure she escaped that whole Full house, pay for your kids to go to college scandal. Or was she in the middle of it? No, no, she got, she, she went to jail. Right. <laughs> this Louisa costume just looks like Lori Laughlin ah. spent some time in prison, got buff, and was like, all right, let's destroy, ah. let's take it home. And Louisa too, you know, Louisa too. This is, this is just an Elsa head on a buff Louisa body. This is just an Elsa head on a buff Lori Lachlan body. What I love though, is like this one Peruvian seller, they made the entire Madrigal family, more or less. You can get Felix and Tio Peppa and, and Abuela. You know, it's a birthday party. Everyone wants a mascot of toxic matriarchy descending upon the birthday party, being all passive aggressive. Like, why do you want this when your grandma's already there doing all the work? Let's break out of Encanto for a moment and check out some other fun characters. Lots of good Pixar bootlegs out there. Boy, what a robust skeleton. He's buff for not having any flesh. Ernesto, more like Urchesto, my goodness. Luca, hey, remember Luca? Boy, I saw a pair of cosplayers at D23 that Luca-fied them, like half of their faces, it looks so good. We need that kind of prosthetic makeup, but like in the Italy pavilion, just doing meet and greets over by the water fountain, like, like they're splashing each other and turning each other to fish. Anyway, I digress. Here is a fun word weird kooky mascot version of the Luca boy. I what my, the, it's the mermaid glitter fabric used for the arms and the legs that gets me here. Like, uh, this fabric is usually used for like mermaid tails and little girls costumes or pajamas. So now all I can think of is that the Luca boy skinned a mermaid and made boots and gloves for himself out of her leather. <laughs> but honestly, I like the head sculpt, it's fun. May, what can I say? May, I, I think I'm just gonna buy this right now. I think I need this. It's so great. Do you think I'd fit in it? It's so cute. Hey, Bluey. Bluey's on Disney Plus now, so I get to talk about it, right? And it's not like all, oh, dear Disney, dance, stay in your lane. Blah, blah, blah. 
People do say that, bro. People early on, they're like, uh, isn't this Disney Dan? You're doing a Shrek history. And I'm just like, sir, take a seat. This is YouTube. I think you are getting a little emotion. Anyway, this blue mascot isn't bad. I'm digging it. And Bluey's such a fun, simple character with nice, easy shapes, easy to replicate. Triangles, circles, ovals, bing, bang, boom, you're in and out. I love this one TikTok of this like teenager dressed up for their like sibling's birthday party and they're just dropping it. And like Bluey's legs slowly slink into his body until he just turns into a dog minion. It's hilarious. Boy, the Hulk at D23, you know, Avengers Campus. Just get rid of that costume. Just bring, let's, there's a couple good hulks out there. I'm obsessed with bootleg hulks because they're so ridiculous. And like, it's so amazing at the same time. Like the, the measures they go to counterfeit this gigantic creature and how good it looks for what it is. But at the same time, how, how stupid it looks to have like a five foot one teenager wearing a Hulk costume for his younger brother's birthday party. There's just nothing imposing about baby Hulk. I'm so here for chaos, Big Bird. I live for it. <laughs> Just forget about Times Square Elmo. I want a, I want an army of cursed Times Square Big Birds. It is time. It's time. We did a great evolution of Big Bird, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Kenny, put a card. Hope you're watching on a platform that supports cards. Lightyear, you know, he's back in the spotlight as a favorite character for a whole new generation. Yeah, make, let's keep, mom, keep your Disney Plus subscription because I need to watch Lightyear. So to celebrate Lightyear, let's just look at a couple good Lightyear bootleg dance videos. I mean, what's there not to appreciate? I don't know. I mean, I like that it's hard plastic on the for the suit, but like, why are the buttons so big? This one looks like they took a toy of Buzz Lightyear and used that for scale reference. This second Buzz Lightyear was built for the thickness. It is just, th it just, it is just the thickness defined. I like it. I don't hate it actually. It's it's pretty good. It is so clearly just like a, a very, very specific attempt to duplicate the park Buzz Lightyear. The last one. I'm gonna have to censor most of it, but I have to show it to you because at the end, Woody walks by carrying a baby, which is the funniest thing I might have ever seen in my entire life. So is there like a mom inside that Woody? And, and does the baby know the mom is inside Woody? Or does a baby think that, you know, like a demon is carrying it around? Hey, are you tired of all those bootleg website builders? Get those things out of here and come on down to squarespace.com. We've got the best website builder down. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content manage your members, send email notifications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. In fact, I've made a great website, dispeed.com, where I'm documenting all of the official bathrooms of Disney World. No bootleg bathrooms here, baby. At that place in Kissimmee that looks like the Grand Floridian, but isn't. That's where bootleg Disney bathrooms are, Kenny. <laughs> At the Holy Lands. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales, tax and ship items across the globe. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Disney Dan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Oh no! Now the curse of the bootleg is upon you. Quick, send this video to five of your friends and make sure they watch it, or else an illegally made Times Square Elmo from Peru will sneak into your house and fill your shoes with bootleg Avengers merchandise and then poop in a hallway closet. Very specific. <laughs>
Okay, well, hey, lots of TikTok in this video, and I'm on TikTok, so come on TikTok and find me. And if you find some silly stuff, Disney park and costume that you want me to see and laugh at, make sure you tag me in the comments there, or find me other places like Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, and our vlog, please stop vlogging. You guys are all amazing. Sorry I just passed this curse on to you, but I believe in you. I believe in you. Remember, you rock. Ah, 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 I feel nice now, I feel better. Now that I'm free of that curse, I guess I'll just go buy one.